we're going to take a first look at the InstiConnect cellular integrated router and angel wing system put out by a fellow RVer to serve the RVing community. Hi, I'm Chris with the Mobile Internet Resource Center here to give you a first look at some interesting new hardware that is just now coming to market. This is the InstiConnect put out by Nick of We Can Explore, another YouTube channel. They've been on the road for several years as part-time travelers and got frustrated with the MoFi, our cellular integrated router they were using, and went out to design um, a system of their own and are now just now bringing it to market. And we've got one of the very first ones to get some hands-on time with, and well, we're taking a look at it today. Now, what makes the Insta Connect interesting is it is um, basically their, their off-the-shelf parts, you know, sourced source from China, but he has put together a bundled package that is actually kind of unique with some custom software on top of it to address the needs of making things uh, relatively simple and relatively affordable for the capabilities for specifically targeting the RV market. So what do you get in the InstiConnect kit? Well, it starts off with uh, indoor routers. It's actually pretty hefty little um, metal a very solid quality feeling a router that is a uh, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi indoors with a 4x4 MIMO for your indoor Wi-Fi. So here's the um, Wi-Fi radio so you have it's actually two radios, a 2.4 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi radio and a 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi radio. Uh, supports Wi-Fi 5802.11 AC is the Wi-Fi standard it supports, not Wi-Fi 6. So it is one generation behind but not a lot of cellular integrated routers have supported Wi-Fi 6 just yet. Um, and then four gigabit LAN ports across, and then a USB port here that is for connecting to the outdoor Category 12 cellular modem. And so rather than have the cellular modem inside the router and then have antenna cables going to an antenna on the roof where you lose a lot to the cables, instead he's 3D printing these custom angel wing antennas that go up on the roof and be able to mount them on a little stand like this, or you could probably pull mount it as well. Um, comes with a stand like this to attach to your RV roof. And inside this angel wing antenna, it's a 2x2 MIMO, it's got two angled, for better catching signal and better MIMO diversity antennas inside of here. And then a modem module that goes outside. So the modem, the actual cellular modem, will slide into here. You put your two SIM cards you know, two different SIM cards, although it's only one modem, so only one is active at a time. Put the SIM cards in the here, hook up the antennas. Don't rip out the antenna. <laughs> hook up the antenna, slide it all together, and um, then it is connected to the indoor component and powered over a very long USB cable. So this means there's no loss coming down from your roof to the indoor router. So that's actually the smart way to do it. We've been advocating you have your, your radios on the roof and your, your router indoors is a great way to do it. And up until now, that kind of gear on the roof, like the Weingar Connecty, was either really low-end modems or really kind of high-end out-of-consumer pricing gear like the um, um, Pepwave uh, HD1 Dome and such. So either higher-end or lower-end roof mount of stuff. Now we're actually getting a real Cat 12 modem with uh, some pretty advanced cellular capabilities that would go into this. So we're quite intrigued to see how well this performs. Um, and so that is the first generation of InstiConnect. It is uh, $499 for the bundle. It includes power supply for AC power and or direct wiring to DC power. Everything you need to set up the antenna, roof mounted on your roof and all of that, and um, put the system together. And then Later in the year, they're saying late summer, he's going to have a second generation InstiConnect system that will be using a Cat 20 slash 5G modem with quad angel wing. So I wonder if it actually might look like a Christmas tree with antennas coming out in all four sides, but a 4x4 MIMO antenna on the roof and a 5G version, and that will be um, $9.99. So that's the kind of the hardware pieces of it all. It's a lot of hardware for the price. Um, eager to see how well it actually performs and how most importantly, how easy it is to manage and configure. And this is where Nick says he's got some special sauce that we'll be checking out in just a few minutes with software that lets you lock the modem to different cellular bands. So this is one of the, the tricks that only a few cellular routers allow you to do easily of saying, 
hey, you know, I'm on AT&T, I only want to connect to FirstNet band 14, ignore the other bands. You can kind of then maybe find the fast band that gets you better performance, or, you know, other carriers, you might be able to experiment and try different bands. And he says he also has the ability to see which cell towers are in range and force the modem to lock to a particular cell tower, which is another way, like, if one tower is congested, even if it's got a stronger signal and the modem's always trying to connect to the congested tower, with enough trial and error, you can say, well, no, go connect to the weaker tower that direction, and um, by forcing that at the modem level, that might actually introduce a lot of interesting capabilities. So he says he's made some really easy software to control this, and we'll be taking a look at that next. This theoretically will be more waterproof in the final version. Screw on, just goes like that. Angel wings. So we've been playing around with InstaConnect and have had it set up, and the user interface is indeed incredibly minimalistic, just focused on cellular connectivity. So you bring it up and you see your primary SIM and your secondary SIM. You can switch between them very quickly, see your signal strengths, and then that's about all you can do. You've got a speed test button. You can configure your local Wi-Fi networks just by setting the name for that. And then all other advanced features are hidden behind the um, Advanced Config Geeky button, which opens up the normal, the full uh, OpenWRT, open source uh, firmware that is hidden behind the scenes and is definitely not uh, normal, user-friendly, or approachable. So that's the important thing to keep in mind here is the Instacamp is it is very focused on just the basic task of taking a cellular connection and sharing it out through the router. All the more advanced stuff is um, not really part of this product or this bundle. Um, the other special sauce you do have is that you can then simply, when you've got a cellular connection up, you can go into a locking interface here. As you can see what bands are currently detected in the area and press a lock key to lock on to a particular cellular band or tower. And so far this feature is very promising, but it is definitely rough around the edges on this initial release that we've got, so we're hoping that this improves. Now, some quick concluding first thoughts on the InstaConnect. It is a promising package. It's a lot of capability for the price. We love that the, the modem is integrated outdoors where, you know, the modem belongs. You've got minimal loss over cell cables and stuff. But it is also very important to keep in mind that the InstaConnect is a very limited product. It's focused on doing just one thing, which is taking a cellular connection, letting you tune it, lock it in, and share it. It doesn't have more advanced features like being able to use an upstream Wi-Fi network um, for your connection, like the upstream uh, campground connection. It does not have the ability to combine connections in any fashion, doing load balancing or bonding or even failover if one connection goes down, automatically switching to the next. And it doesn't have any sort of a advanced um, local network management, like keeping track of how much data you're using and what devices are doing various things. Now, a lot of that capability is actually baked in deep under the hood in the uh, OpenWRT open source firmware that is underneath the InstaConnect interface. And you can get to that if you know what you're doing and dive deeper in and are comfortable kind of uh, you know, tweaking and rolling your own firmware. And perhaps over time, InstaConnect will expose more advanced features in their own interface and officially support them. They do have actually plans to have a, a VPN service that they're going to have as a subscription coming out later this year. So there's some interesting capabilities here, but it is not, um, you know, this is a small company just now launching um, by RVers, but uh, focused on the needs of RVers, but they don't have the um, big breadth and uh, uh, hardware experience of a company like Pepwave, but that Company like Pepwave is catering to a much broader market than not to the RV market. So this is a, a interesting device, definitely something to keep an eye on. We're going to be putting it into testing over time um, and getting more experiencing with it. We'll be sharing about that in our member forums. There are also a lot of other interesting uh, cellular integrated routers coming to market in 2021. This is going to be a very interested, interesting year for connectivity as we start to transition into a 5G world and more advanced uh, uh 
cellular routers do start to come out. So we'll be keeping a close eye on the InstaConnect and are excited to welcome this new company to market and uh, we'll see where it goes from here. These videos are brought to you by our premium members, our mobile internet aficionados. They make it possible for us to track this news and create these videos. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment, subscribe to our channel, or better yet, consider becoming a member yourself.